Good evening everyone. Welcome back to the Armstrong household in North Yorkshire. It's good to be with you this evening. Isaac's out. He's actually working tonight but he'll be back later on. That's why we changed the time because I've got to go and get him. Uh, you'll also hear the dogs. The dogs are not being looked after by Isaac so they're eating bones tonight and we have a sort of a hard floor so if you hear them you hear some noise in the background it's just the dogs eating the bones so I'll be all right. So I want to sing a couple of songs, two songs. I want to just, I don't know, just worship the Lord with you tonight. This is another old one. We have sung it before. Uh, it's one I remember from way back in my Methodist, Methodist days. Who can cheer the heart like Jesus? So many of you, I'm sure, will remember this one. And there's one, one well, there's actually lots of wonderful verses in it. But the one that probably I, I enjoy the most is the, the one, uh, where is it? Every need his hand supply. Isn't that great? So praise the Lord. Uh, well, let's, let's, shall we sing it together? You can sing it on your own if you want. <laughs> Kathy's got a ukulele tonight. So 
wonderful song who can share the heart like Jesus I tell you that it's a good it's a good hymn isn't it because actually the answer of course is built into the hymn nobody no one can shear the heart like Jesus it isn't possible he is the one that shears our heart and when you're locked down and on your own and, and feel a little bit isolated Jesus is with you because there's no lockdown in Jesus he's not locked outside your door he's there he's inside he's with you all the time and I tell you, what a blessing that really is. It's a blessing to know that he's there. Well, there's a second one I want us to sing. And, you know, we've got a very good friend down in Norwich. And I've known Matt for many, many years. Matt Richards and Beth. They're a beautiful family. And they started a church, a radical church down there a few years ago. And they preach on the streets and they go out all the time. And they just do a great job. But on yesterday on Facebook, he put on an old chorus. And I was singing it. And I, I, I listened to it through the way they sang it. And it was about 13 minutes long. So it was, a, it was a chorus that they repeated. But it really did minister to people. But I was out for a run earlier today. And I was singing this earlier today. And I'll explain to you in a minute why, why I was singing it. But it's, it's, it says something beautiful. Something good. Can we try this one? No idea of the beat. Shall we just start and see how we go? On? Something beautiful. Something good. Oh my God. song isn't that a wonderful song he made something beautiful well here's what I want you to do I want I want, I'm going to sing it first of all we've got some prayer requests tonight and uh, I was doing this as I was out running earlier on today I went a little bit further than I expected to go but that's another story but uh, I, I was singing this over some people and uh, I, I we, we'll be praying for Rick and Dean Rick and Dean. Uh, Rick Rick, Dean. sorry Rick Dean Rick and Natalie and uh, I was singing it earlier on and I'm just so so what I want to do is is I want to sing it like this something beautiful something good all Rick's confusion he understood all he had to offer him was brokenness and strife made something beautiful out of bricks and that class oh man isn't that good I was singing that today and just thinking, you know, God has given us some beautiful people. And, and Dean, or, uh, sorry, Rick, Natalie, we're praying with you. And, you know, when you watch, you FaceTime them every day after that stroke. 
you know, there's part of his body that's not working the way that, yeah. that it should do. But you're believing God for a total miracle for him. And when God looks at him tonight, he sees him beautiful. He is beautiful in the eyes of God. So I want to sing this over Rick again. Can we do that? I'm going to pick a few people here tonight. And if you want us to put your name in there, then send us, hey, I need a blessing tonight. So go on, send us your name and we'll, we'll put your name in there. All right, we're going to play this one for Rick. to get this all in. All, all Natalie. All Natalie's confusion. He understood. All she had to offer him. All she had to offer him was brokenness and strife. But he made something beautiful out of Natalie's life. Hard to get in. Hey, is there any more names there? Come on, who else is on? got a guy in in, uh, in Australia with prayer. Elizabeth sent this over. A young man, he's 28 years old from Australia and he was diving this week in a swimming pool. Young fit man and he hit the bottom of the pool and he has cracked his back and he's basically, barring a miracle, he will be disabled. So we're going to see. God looks at Stefan today. What does he see? Does he see somebody who's a cripple or is, is bent and broken? No, he sees somebody beautiful. So we're going to sing it for Stefan. Beautiful. And we'll be praying for him later on. Something beautiful. Something good. All Stefan's confusion. He understood. Offer him was brokenness and strife, but he made something beautiful out of Stephen's life. Rachel, we're singing this one for you. Something beautiful, something good. All Rachel's confusion, he understood. All she had to offer. sing this one for Jenny. Something beautiful, something good. All Jenny's confusion, he understood. All she had to offer him was brokenness and strife. Jean tonight. Something beautiful. Something good. All Jean's confusion. He understood. All she had to offer him was brokenness and strife. He made something beautiful out of Jean's life. I 
and Jenny. Remember, we're praying for Jenny. Sorry, Kathy, you're going to say something. Okay, I'm doing something beautiful. This is Jenny. Something beautiful. All Jenny's confusion, he understood. All she had to offer him was brokenness and strength. But he made some. your own name in here. Can you do that? Can we sing it together and just wherever you are, put your own name in? Because let me tell you, you are beautiful. Whatever you think, however you feel, God sees you beautiful. So I'm going to sing it for Kingsley. You sing it for yourself, all right? Something beautiful, something good. Oh, Kingsley's confusion, he understood. original one, one more time. Something beautiful, something good, all my confusion, he understood, all I had to offer him was brokenness and strength, and he made something beautiful of my life. All I had to offer him. All I had to offer him was brokenness and strength. And he made something beautiful out of my hand. Yes, wow, amen. something beautiful. Let me tell you, folks, you are beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you you're not. Don't listen to anybody that tells you you're this, that, or the other thing. I listen to people at the age I'm coming to when people are are talking about, you know, about getting older and, and people spend a fortune on cosmetics and, and trying to look younger and trying to do this. Let me tell you something, sweetheart, just the way you are, you are beautiful. And God sees you as beautiful. We read, this, it, where, where is it? Is it Zephaniah somewhere? It talks about he's singing over us. He thinks you're fantastic just the way you are. And we need to tell people that just the way we are. All right, I'm going to stop speaking. Kathy. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 55 and from verse 6, good words of encouragement. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be yes. that goes forth from my mouth it shall not return to me void it shall not return to right. me void Say it, again. it shall not return to me void right. but it shall accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it for you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace and the mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress tree and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree and it shall be to the Lord for a name for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I read this every day. I have been, I'm just in a process at the moment where I've been reading this every day, probably for several weeks now. I will continue. 
it's one of for me one of the foundational scriptures that I've taken to the Lord and when you read the rest the end of it it's all about restoration it says you know that you shall go out with joy be led forth with peace let me ask you how much joy is there in the world at the moment not a lot led forth with peace people are so worried but this is our inheritance not when we die not when we go to he heaven but right now this is our inheritance is the joy of the Lord which is our strength and his peace which he gives us his peace the mountains and the hills the, the, will, will break forth into singing before us instead of the thorns shall come up the cypress tree so there's, there's a, a restoration that God is giving to his people and it all centers around the rain cycle remember this water cycle when you were in school and we learned about the, the rain and when the rain comes down and then it, it goes back up again and of course that's why we don't want them to cut too many trees in the rainforest and stuff like that because it can knock the balance out but it would, in a rain cycle that you learn the water cycle you learned about in school is that it goes round it goes round in a circle it evaporates it comes back and and uh, they say in, in uh, London that it, each, each drop you drink in London has been round your body about seven times so just think on that next time you have a cup of water uh, but there you go but it, it goes, goes right. See, God says it's the same with his word because it talks about the, the rain and the snow. And over in Texas, you've been having so much snow and ice. But God says when he sends the rain, it's for a purpose. It's to water the earth. So that so look what it says. So that it might bring forth and bud. And it gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. And so there's a twofold purpose of the, the rain that, that brings this, that helps the seed. Because it gives, it's, or it gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater so you don't eat all your seed you sow some of it and it feeds you as well and so it so God says listen think about that and it's exactly the same way with my word when my word comes forth from my mouth it will not return to me empty now that gives me the idea that it's meant to return to him just like the water circle has to go back and go round again so it is with the word it goes back to him and how does it go back to him it goes back to him tonight as we're singing his words when we read the scripture we're giving it back to him as you get up in the morning and you proclaim the word of the life over your life over your body over your health over your finance over your family as I do every morning I declare the blessing of God I am blessed my family is blessed I have total victory over the enemy and everywhere I go people will be blessed it's the declaration of the word of the Lord that is has been my our daily practice for many many years because it's the word of the Lord he says it will not return to me void but will accomplish the thing for which I sent it so in other words it will do the reason that he sent it, when he sent out his word and he healed them, what does that mean? It means he sent out his word and he healed them. We can't accept anything less than that because that's what his word is. He's, his word that goes, it will not return to him void, but will accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. So his word goes forth. He said, it's just like the rain. It'll bring forth and bud. It will give seed to the sower and bread to you. Now think about it. This is why I say to people, share what you get. There's something good on Facebook. If you don't think it's good, then delete it. If you're not into this tonight, delete it. Don't put it on anywhere. But if, if God blesses you through what we're doing tonight, then share it with somebody. Because when God speaks into our life, he speaks the word of God. It's a twofold reason he does that. He does that so that we can can produce seed within us and we can can grow forth and we can be blessed and we can be prospered and we can be healed and we can be delivered but it's more than that it's seed to, that's bread to the eater but it's seed to the sower and so God blesses us with his word so that we can go and give it to somebody else and so I encourage people if God blesses you give that to somebody else and that's part of the twofold reason that God has given you his word and then when we declare the word of God the Bible says we will go out with joy Joy, and we will be led forth with peace we're praying for you and we do pray for you that God will bless you and he will give you his peace because you need his peace I need his peace that's why I don't turn on the television in the morning I don't turn my phone on actually if somebody tries to get me before nine o'clock they're going to fail because it's not turned on I don't want to hear anything from you or anybody else <laughs> before in the morning because I want to hear from God I want him to speak into my life why because my life has changed beyond belief in the last year and so I need to be hearing the word of God so the moment that I'm released again and I stand before a congregation of people I will give them the word 
of the Lord. I won't give them my education or something I've studied. I will give them the word of the Lord because that's what God has put in my hands, the seed to sow into people's lives. So I want to encourage you tonight as you join with us. This is a, a, a short time. Well, a bit gets longer and longer, doesn't it? Because I speak on a Sunday and on a, on a Wednesday. And it's the seed that we're given to you. And I can promise you we will stay on the word of God and the word of God will not return to him void, but will accomplish Amen. the thing that he sent it for. We're going to read from Corinthians. For I have received from the Lord that which I also deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So that's what we're doing tonight. We are proclaiming the Lord's death until he comes. But it's more than just his death, of course. It's his death and his resurrection. Jesus is the word of God. And the word of God is living. It's sharp. It's sharper than a two-edged sword. It breaks like a hammer. It cuts through. And so we thank him for his word. Thank him for his body this evening. As we break this bread together... We're just thankful that he gave his life for us. Let's be thankful as we eat together tonight in Jesus' name. Let's eat together. Lord, as we take this cup, we're thankful that you gave your life for us. We're thankful for the death the life, the death, the resurrection, the ascension, and the coming again of Jesus. I thank you that you're alive today. And I thank you, Lord, you still do what you did in the beginning. You still save people. You still cleanse us from our sins. You still heal broken bodies. You still restore lost souls. You still give peace and joy. And so we take this tonight as a family and we rejoice in all that you've done for us. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. I have some people who want to pray for this evening and uh, I wrote them down that guy in, in Australia was Elizabeth who, who sent it through to us he's a very not say what it was it, but uh, and uh, he's already come a long way but he'll he, he will require significant this is the guy St Stefan in Australia who had the diving accident and uh, he will need significant rehabilitation medical treatment mobility equipment not to mention ongoing care but you know God can do a miracle <clears throat> And God can bring him back. So let's pray for Stefan. Let's continue to pray for Nick and Natalie. Natalie up. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Nick. Rick and Natalie. Deans. Let's pray for him each day. That God will bless him. Natalie's regularly given us updates. And so we want to pray that God will continue with him this week. <coughs> we want to pray for Paul Ashbridge. Paul has been struggling with asthma this last few weeks. And he's on courses of antibiotics and steroids. But let's really pray that God will strengthen Paul this week uh, for Elwin and Margaret talked about their brother-in-law is still in hospital but improving daily we've been praying for him I want to pray for the, our friends in Texas for Lynn and Deb Schwanke and Sam and Darla Garza a lot of people in their church have been suffering with COVID and they've been really weak this last week so we want to lift them into the presence of the Lord and pray that God will touch them and you've got your own prayer request so. friend who fell off the ladder yes we have a friend who fell off a ladder this week and we want to pray that God will touch her as well she's in hospital God will strengthen her so Lord we lift Rick and Natalie to you again and pray that you will continue to heal him thank you for what you've been doing for the signs of encouragement will we stand with them for total and complete beautiful healing that Lord will bring restoration to his side and to all his faculties in Jesus name we pray for Stefan this young man in, he's from Tullow in, in County Carlow in Ireland we pray for him in Australia that Lord you'll touch him and I pray God let your angels minister to him send in your physicians God into the, his, his room to touch him Lord to do I thank you for the surgeons thank you for the brilliant people that are working on him but I pray you take him a step further and send in those angels who can take him to a place that surgeons can't take him we, we realise all healing comes from you but I'm asking you for a miracle from him in Jesus name touch Paul Lord this week bless his breathing Lord I pray you protect him and be with him in Jesus name Thank you, Lord, for Elwin and Margaret's brother-in-law. Thank you for the improvement that he's seen. I pray continue to heal him in Jesus' name. Thank you for, for Lynn and Deb. 
for Sam and Darla and all the New Beginnings Church in Spring, Texas. We pray your, your healing power in all of them and your strengthening in them and all our friends in Texas who are yeah. getting back, many with leaks now after the freeze this week. Bless them and help them get through this in Jesus' name. Pray again for John Javid as we pray every week and for Farzana over there in Pakistan that you will continue to strengthen them, heal them and provide for them in Jesus' name. So we give you thanks. And for each one, Lord, particularly those who are on their own this week, let them know, Lord, this week, let them know this night that they are beautiful in your eyes. And when the enemy whispers something into their, into their ears, tell them to get lost in Jesus' name. But Lord, declare to them tonight as they relax for this evening and go to bed later on, let them sleep tonight knowing that they are beautiful, something beautiful, something good. All their confusions you understood. All they had to offer you was brokenness and strife, but you made something beautiful out of their life. And so we bless you and give you thanks this week in Jesus' name. So the Lord bless you. We'll be with you again tomorrow, right through the week on Wednesday, of course, live at 6 o'clock. And we'll be at this time next Sunday as well. So it's 6 o'clock every evening. But you also have a chance, of course, later on on Facebook to, uh, to watch it later on. And please share it. It's not to get the number. I'm not bothered. If there's one or two watching this, you need it. That's what we'll do it for. It's not for the numbers. It's so that you can sow the seed that God has fed into your life. Sow it to somebody else and bless them. And that will multiply it then back to you as well. So do that in Jesus' name and uh, just encourage somebody. Amen. Amen. All right, so the Lord bless you. Bless you. And we'll see you, see tomorrow. you tomorrow.